football team that's going to get better as we go, but don't be satisfied. We welcome to the world the 2015 Carolina Panthers. Everybody be accountable today. Hold yourself accountable. Portals is going to throw intercepted. Norman May score 20 down the left sideline, 15-10. It is a touchdown. Josh Norman took it to the house. The count puts a pass in zone and it's jumped up, intercepted by Norman. Intercepted right side of the end zone, and the Panthers will win the football game. Panthers plan to shut up the 12th man and fly home 5 0. Cam Newton throws a pass, Olsen end zone, caught, touchdown! Yes! Oh my goodness! Carolina has won the football game. We get to throw here ball out, we get to set the tone, we get to set the tempo for the night. And most importantly, baby, we get to spin our dirt. Fires it over the middle, tipped, intercepted. Fíjate, mi querido gatillero, tiene altura, tiene profundidad, va a llegar, va a llegar, va a llegar. ¡Se acabó! ¡Se acabó! ¡Ganó! ¡Ganó! ¡Lo ganó! There will be no miracle on Mint Street for the Green Bay Packers. Carolina goes to 8-0. They think that defense is good, we're going to show them what a dominant defense looks like. 10-0 Carolina, what a complete, dominating, impressive win. Man, what's up everybody? Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, hope y'all enjoy the time with y'all families. I hope everybody stays safe. Uh, I don't really get into the whole celebrating Thanksgiving just because of what it means. Um, but it's always good to be with family. Um, other than that, we got a game today. Panthers versus Cowboys. First time ever in franchise history on Thanksgiving, man. I'm excited, man. I'm pumped. I'm ready for this game, man. It, it can't come here fast enough. Uh, I, I'm definitely feeling confident. Ain't got no worries, man. I ain't got no worries about this game, man. Um, I think the team is focused. I think mentally we're prepared. I think on the field, physically, team-wise, roster-wise, we're the better team. Um, we got to see if Romo's finally going to knock the rest off because I know the Cowboys fans think he's the savior, this, that, and the other because they finally got a win. But he did throw two picks last week. Y'all was really carried by Darren McFadden with over 100 yards. Shout out to Darren McFadden. Shout out to my boy Breon, uh, who told me before the year, um, he's Darren McFadden's cousin. He told me Darren McFadden was going to be good. It was going to be good. He was looking good, working out over the summer, this, that, and the other. 
Uh, so shout out to Breon, Jeremy Fan. But he ain't doing that other ass on us. We do better with the bigger backs. I say it all the time. Every time we play one of the good ones, we, we stop your Marshawn Lynch's, your Adrian Peterson's, your, your, your guys like that. Your bigger backs, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not worried about Darren McFadden. I'd be a little bit more worried if he was one of them smaller guys. Like, if we struggle with a running back, it's a Andre Ellington, Darren Sproles, a, a Dexter McCluster, a shifty guy like that. We don't struggle with them big running by, between the tackles. Cause we got some of the best in the business, man. Uh, but yeah, defensively, I have no worries. Um, Josh Norman on Dez, take him out the game. Uh, Jason Witten, we got the best linebacking court in the league. We got some safeties who's been balling, man. Kurt Coleman, shout out to you. Uh, top on the Pro Bowl, thanks for uh, safeties right now. So uh, I ain't got no worries about that. Um, if anything, because Peanut Tillman probably won't play. I'm a little bit more worried about your, your Cole Beasley, your Terrence Williams, the guys like that um, who are going to be in the slot because we seen how Colin Jones got beat last week by Deshaun Jackson. Um, but hopefully, for some reason, I hope we'll go with Teddy Williams instead, and then I definitely feel better. But uh, And then offensively, I, I, I don't see no concerns. I mean, I like Ronaldo McClay and I like Sean Lee, but I don't think none of them messing with, uh, with Geos. I don't think I think we're gonna have we're gonna be able to run the ball because we're able to run the ball on everybody and y'all what bottom five and stopping the run and our receivers I mean you gotta be worried about the run so much they always gonna get open. Um, Devin Funch is gonna start again. We don't know if we're gonna have Philly Brown back, but Devin Funch has been impressing me these last couple weeks, man. Um, and then we getting better. I, I I've been saying that we're we're a team that's still getting better. We're getting Andrew Norwell back. Um, who's one of the best guards in the league. We're getting uh, the Chuckster, big money, Charles Johnson back on that line. So we already were second in the league in sacks. Now with Charles Johnson, we're going to be even better, man. Uh, so Coney Ely's going to be coming in rotation, which that man's been balling. He's got four sacks in the past four games. Uh, so he's been getting a sack every week. So, yeah, shout out to, shout out to that deep line, man. But... Other than that, man, y'all enjoy y'all Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family. Um, I'm about to get up out of here. Uh, about to head down the road, man. Go get me some food, watch a game. Enjoy myself, man. This your boy, Mr. Team in 1993. I'm out.